What is up, everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. Well, actually, we're streaming this from three different channels. This is Forever Self-Employed, all about pressure washing and quote IQ. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to quote pressure washing jobs fast. We're going to be walking through the quote IQ website and showing you guys exactly how we would quote jobs remotely. We're going to quote uh we're going to quote concrete, we're going to quote roofs, and then we're going to show you guys how we quote houses. I'm Joe with Mike. Mike, how's it going, man? Hello, Justin. It's going well. Excellent, excellent. We're going to be testing the website again, so we can't guarantee everything's going to be perfect. The website is almost ready for public consumption. What would you say, Mike? About 95%? 95%. Yep. <coughs> yes, yeah, we're, we're, we're so excited. And when we talk about the website, we are talking about the desktop version of our app, Quote IQ. Uh, you know, we initially designed it for um, just mobile because we wanted to give everybody the opportunity uh, that's out there in the field to have something in their hand that would help them run their business, keep track of absolutely every aspect of their business, as well as give you the opportunity to create estimates, uh, send those estimates to your customers, send them invoices, collect payments, and a whole lot more. This is not your mama's uh, CRM. This is this is the ultimate tool for running your business from the palm of your hand and now from your desktop. Absolutely. So like I said, in today's video, we are going to be walking you guys through uh, concrete cleaning or quoting a concrete job, quoting a house wash and quoting a roof wash. I'm going to be using uh, your guys' names in the chat and whatever addresses you send us. So if y'all want to send us an address in the chat, like put it down below. Uh, I'm going to add you guys in and um, we're going to quote your job, essentially. I do want to mention one thing before we jump into this. We are giving away a pressure washing business starter kit Monday. We will be going live Monday to give away the pressure washing business starter kit um, to a lucky winner. All you have to do to enter to win is be a premium or platinum subscriber of Quote IQ. You can download it in the comment section and the description of this video. We've already given away one pressure washing business starter kit. We actually have another giveaway for... March, I believe, which is going to be even better. I'm going to keep that a secret. But um, yeah, we're going to be doing a, a live drawing Monday, uh, picking the winner. Right, Mike? Yes, we are going to be doing that on Monday, Justin. All right. Beautiful. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Go ahead and repeat me. Like Act like you didn't hear what I said. <laughs> Quote IQ is available for desktop. We're going to be testing. It's, it's going to be available for desktop probably early next week to late next week. This is the second round of testing that we're doing. Um, but there's probably still a couple bugs in here. It is like brand new. So we're going to be showing you guys how the website works and everything in between. How you win the pressure washing business starter kit, four gallon minute pressure washer, 100 feet of hose, 20 inch service cleaner. Subscribe to Quote IQ and you'll be entered to win. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to create somebody a profile and then um, we're going to get right into it. Let me take this off the screen then. So as someone mentioned, this is the web version of Quote IQ. Like I said, we are testing it. We're going to pick somebody. Uh, Mike, do you want to pick a name? For um, we're just gonna create a customer, and then and then I'm gonna yeah. Create let's do Quality Blast LLC. <laughs> you can pick like someone who had a real name. <laughs> well, he's in the he's in the chat. He just said howdy from Illinois. Okay, Quality Blast LLC. I'm just gonna put it together because that's just how I like it. Um, see, we're gonna say his his email is QBlast at gmail.com contact number you can pick any country if you want i don't know what this guy's contact is we're going to say 234-675-8976 that's justin's oh. number so just text him right i'm going to say this came from google because we are on youtube um and so we're going to pick an address leave me do you guys know any addresses put those in the chat do we have one i don't Tell see me. anybody that has put one in there <laughs> Do you want me to put a random address? One? I don't. I mean, I need one. So yeah, just I... put put um one thirteen. Okay, let's see what that pops up. Oh, here we go. Dewey's Dewey's. Oh, we're not doing a big commercial account. No, don't do a commercial account. Do give us a. Uh, I, I really like a house. Let's see what Coffeeville in Kansas, South Spruce Street. Here we go. Three five six seven Granite Way. Fred put that in there. Okay, three. What was it? Three four five. Three five six seven. Three, five, six, seven. Granite Way. Granite, Mike. Granite, where is that? Is that in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Or is it in Martinez, Georgia? Talk to us, Fred. Let's say, I think there's only one way, so we're going to go to Georgia. Okay, so Quality Blast LLC. We're going to do a quote for them. First, we create them as a customer in Code IQ. We're going to make sure everything works good. They're loaded up. 
save and continue. All right, so for this first one, let's go ahead and do a concrete cleaning. So this is how you quote concrete cleanings remotely. Let's say that uh, this guy came in, you know, I put Google on here. So he called in to our call team or he called our phone. We answered, hey, hey, I'd like to get a concrete cleaning. Excellent. We're going to measure, you know, your property. We're going to send you a price based on square footage because that's how we price. And so then we would just create his contact. We jump into the mapping feature, which is available on the premium of Quote IQ. It's going to take us directly to the property, <laughs> which is this. And then we're going to do a measurement here. I don't know. How do I swivel on here? I guess we'll just leave it like this. This isn't a big deal. So obviously this house has a lot of concrete, uh, but we're just going to do like the front. It also has this giant walkway. I'm just going to keep it easy for this video. Oh, I placed a point. Hold on. Oh, I don't know if I can undo the point. Okay, Mike, we might need to put a button in there to undo the point because that should do it. Yeah. All right, let's try this one more time. We'll make a note of that. I'm making a note. You just play. I'll make the note. Okay, perfect. So this is going to load up. We're going to put our center point where we want to start our measurement. So we'll start it here at the end of the driveway. Here we go. The thing is, within Quote IQ, we already have our service list and we already have our price per square foot loaded in. For this driveway cleaning, we are going to be doing um, 12 cents. Now, it really depends on your area, depends on maybe the severity. Um, not really severity because concrete's kind of all the same. But really like your area. I know some rural parts of Georgia, you probably charge less than you could like in Atlanta. Um, yeah. This guy, Mar Mar Martinez, Martinez, I can't remember how to say it. I think that's right outside of Augusta, if I'm not mistaken. This looks like a nice neighborhood too. Let's just try to quote this all the way down. Let me see. So like the only issue you'd have is with some of this satellite stuff, it's going to be a little difficult to get the exact, exact measurement. But like... I know I'm in the grass a little bit here. This is I'm not doing a very good job. Okay, hold on. It's a lot easier to do on the phone. It is, but we're going to make this as easy as possible. So like, yeah, okay, so we're not perfect right here, but we know that this is about what this square footage is going to be because it looks like this even comes around a little bit. So even if we're off by just a little bit, it's all good. So we're going to keep it going here. We're going to finish out our driveway. Boom, and then we're going to connect our points. Boom. And then what Quote IQ is going to do is going to tell us exactly the area of this driveway. So this driveway is uh, 2,228 square feet. From there, we're going to click our plus button here at the top. 2,228 square feet times our 12 cent um, square foot price is going to give us $267.41. So then we'll click next because we're creating our estimate for the customer. That's going to take us into the edit screen where if we want to add a service description, we can. Mike, what kind of service description do you like on? Uh, um, I would just put surface cleaning of concrete. And and when I do it, you know, it's everything's already set up and preset, but mine says something to the effect of surface cleaning of concrete to remove all surface pollutants. And what that does, and this is just a little tip for anybody watching is that, you know, if they've got rust stains or they've got oil stains and they're like, well, you didn't clean my rust stains or my oil stains. Well, you're, you're right. Those are stains. Those are not specific to what we were quoting as far as, you know, your concrete, we are removing the organics. We're removing all of the surface pollutants. Um, but sometimes, you know, we all know that there are upsells when there are other um, stains that require different chemicals, more time, more energy, labor, et cetera. Right. And if I spell anything wrong here, it doesn't count because uh, this is um, YouTube and I'm not trying to spell really good. So pollutants, that's one L, right, Mike? Yeah. No, obviously, pollutants is two, I think. Obviously, spell check your... Uh, <laughs> we're, not, we're, not, we're not English majors here. Tell, spell check your uh, service descriptions before you do them. The other cool thing in Quote IQ, and I'll show you this, I'll show you this to you guys after, is you can have preset service descriptions in there. I just don't have anything set because this is my play account. So I'm just showing you guys that you could go in here and like let's say that you know we weren't including something or whatever the case may be, we could add it into the service description because you can do custom ones. We can also do a discount price. So let's say that they you know they found us on an offer, we can add in a disc discount here. We can do a tax percentage if, if we're charging for taxes in our area. And then we also can collect a, a deposit. So if we want to, you know, collect 10% or we want to collect, you know, $50 up front, we could put in to the deposit here. Now the only way to collect deposits if is if you do have all of your um your setup your, to accept payments through the app. Yes, your setup to accept payments. <laughs> so we got a bunch of other things in here we can add in terms and conditions. We could add footers and and uh, footers for the estimate, and then um, we can add in photos. I have a little preset footer in here. Thank you for your business. We're licensed and insured. So we'll click that on as our default, and then we'll just proceed in. 
And so here you go. You have the estimate right here. You click the send button, you copy the link, and then you just email it to uh, qblast at gmail.com or send it to their phone number. So that is essentially – wait, what, Mike? I was coughing. I, oh, okay. I excuse I me. <laughs> I do want to say something real quick. Um, TC's Power Blaster said, is this a free program, Justin or Mike? And the answer to that, TC, is in your own business, do you do stuff for free? And the answer is no. And right. this is not a free program. Quote IQ is free on mobile. Um, you are able to, uh, you know, input, import your customers. You're able to manage all of your customers' information. You're able to create estimates. You're able to send invoices. And you're also able to collect payments. Um, that is the free version. Now, if you want to get um, more advanced features like what you're looking at with the mapping, then that is going to be the platinum version. Or is mapping in premium? I can't even remember. Uh, no, map mapping is in uh, premium. Okay, so the premium is the middle version. There's free, premium, platinum. And uh, if you want to get um, everything, then you go with the platinum. And uh, that's, right. that's the bottom line. So on the free version, you can use this on your phone for free to keep track of customers, collect payments, send invoices, send estimates. Um, and that's what you can do for free. Mix calculators in there as well for free. Mix calculators. So if you guys need help calculating you know, what your bleach percentage is, you guys can – easily do that with the mixed calculators completely free um we can show you guys that here in just a minute but basically when you get the paid version you're going to get the desktop version which is what we're working with right now you're going to get all the analytics on the home on the home screen you're going to unlock that you're going to get all the forms so you get all the pre-inspection property forms as well as you're going to be able to use the mapping tool which you know you can go to any address that you want to and, and do the mapping mm -hmm. feature I want to show you guys the services in here because we do like under house wash right now soft wash treatment to kill all organic stains uh, with the low pressure rents right now we have that 15 cents uh, per square foot we're going to do a house um wash quote here in just a minute the next one that we're going to do is a roof wash um on a roof wash quote you can just i don't know let's add in a custom service description mike what do you think um low so pressure cleaning of asphalt shingle roofs or whatever of roof um <clears throat> to include the removal of all living organism or organic matter blah 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 i mean <clears throat> it, it doesn't have to be just something that kind of gives a quick service description, low pressure treatment to kill all organics. And then, you know, you can put in, you can go a little bit farther in there if you want to. Um, it really is up to you. And so we have a bunch of different services in here. If we wanted to add in services, we could add in a custom service, um, whatever we want to do. But basically, you set your square foot. Wait, okay. Go down. Wait, what? On your services. Oh, someone was testing dad jokes. That's, they use this account for a test account. That's, is that what I gave you? Yeah, this is, your, this is the button you gave me. But I was just looking at my ceiling. Not sure if it's the best ceiling in the world, but it's definitely up there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is pretty good. I'm like, yeah. Um, let me look at uh, let's look at the chat real quick, and then we'll and then we'll walk through a um, a roof wash quote here in just a second. Louisiana Louisiana education is fine. It's absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. How much to quote a commercial driveway about 3,500 square feet, 10 to 30 since is that correct i mean it depends on where you're at depends on the market that's why we put in um i'll show you guys that's why we put in like close ratios in here so that way you know right here's your close ratio as you can as you can see your year to date we're doing 71 percent, which is probably a little high uh but basically that's the way you can dial in your pricing is by being aware of what your close rate close percentage is and so if it's too high, you need to raise your prices. If it's too low, we need to bring them down. So it really depends on where you're at. I can't say off the top of my head. Like I said, California is going to be a lot different on concrete cleaning than, you know, the middle of Mississippi, um, rural Mississippi. Let's see. Don't die on us, Mike. <coughs> we need you. Thank you. Hey, Justin and Mike, I want to set up terms of service to my quote IQ so you guys have your own that I can view as an example. We don't. We do have a contract that you can get. Um, it is not free, though, because Aaron's lawyers drew it up and it costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars to make. So if you want to check that out, check out pwcourse.com. You can get the contract on there for, I think it's like 150 bucks. And, and if you have a coupon code, you can save a couple bucks on it. Um, if you want a coupon code, just email us. Let me see. Was just checking what's the cost of the monthly and the yearly. <clears throat> so... We, you can, I think, well, maybe we can't. I think you can in the sidebar pull up subscriptions and we can look at the different levels and what all's 
Yeah, so let's do this. I know a lot of people are here for us to do some more quoting. I'm going to quote for you guys real quick, and then once we finish all the quoting, we'll just run through all these questions that we have on here just to kind of keep everything seamless. Somebody put another um, address in the chat, and then uh, we'll just <clears> – <throat> I did see on. somebody – someone put one in from Wichita, Kansas. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay. Um, so we come in here. We're just going to create another customer. Uh, well, you can come into customers. I'm going to come into estimates. So as you guys can see here, we have all our estimates. We did this on purpose so that way you guys could see what open estimates you have, meaning you've sent these estimates to the customer, but they have not responded yet. Once they respond, they're going to go into a couple different categories. If they accept the estimate, which they can do from um, the estimate screen, they're going to go into the accepted category. And then you know that any estimate that's been accepted and in this, in this category needs to be scheduled. Um, after that, you have all your schedules right here. So... This, these are all the things that are on the schedule, and we know that if it's on the schedule and it's past the date, then it needs to be either marked as paid or you need to create an invoice. And then we obviously have a declined here, and the declined is specifically so that way we know what our close ratio is, which is right here. So that's the kind of – I just wanted to break down a little bit on how we did this, but let me – I'm going to create a new estimate right here. What's this guy's name, Mike? Patrick? Patrick McGillicuddy. <laughs> okay. Patrick Jones. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Okay. Uh, you don't need an email address. We, that's optional if you want to put that in there. I'm going to put a random number. 342-675-4879. Okay. Boom. Lead type. We're going to say that um, Patrick came through on a referral from another customer, and we're going to add in the address. What was the address, Mike? Uh, 1128 North Woodridge Drive. 1128 North. There it is. Perfect. Um, Mike, can you add to the notes um, the back button on the map? Yeah. It does not work. Dude, our back button on the map, uh, yeah, I already put that. Okay, perfect. All right, we're going to do a roof wash for this one. I have my roof wash price set at 23 cents a square foot. You guys are welcome to do that any which way you want. Um, we actually, and if you do the paid version, we have um, – what is it called, Mike? We have like a um, range, a pricing range. Yeah, just a, a list of national averages. It's the national averages. So if you guys want to check that out, you definitely can. Okay, this is a big roof. So this one might take me a minute to measure out. Um, okay, but we're going to give it our best shot. I guess that's as close as I can get to it. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is a nice neighborhood too. A couple questions. Um, yes, this is available outside of the United States. We have got it set up for... Um, both imperial and metric measuring. So in if you subscribe to um, the app when you set it or when just when you set up your account, whether it's a free version or whatever, um, you can go in there and choose your country. Your, you know, we've got all the different country codes set up for your phone numbers. So everything works good. And then you can also, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, also go and, uh, you know, choose your metric uh, measuring tools and uh, measure that way. The only thing that isn't optimized is the mix calculator, but we're not going to do that. You guys can figure out the the conversion from gallons to liters or whatever it is. Yeah, and we'll go through the mix calculator um, here in just a minute. One thing that we are doing is we are going to, and we'll re-add this to the list, make these um, smaller. smaller. Yeah, because they're just kind of like <laughs> a little too big for this right now. Believe it or not, you guys, this mapping feature – it took us so long to get the mapping feature where it is. And a lot of people that use the app tell me that the mapping feature is actually more up to date than a lot of other tools that they use because it's basically using a uh, Google Earth's maps. And those are the most up to date um, satellite pictures. So as you guys see here on the roof wash, let's say we got a call in from this customer. It popped that pop off Patrick's uh, comment so we can see the measurement. Oh, my bad. Okay. Patrick is off. All right. So let's say we got a call in from Patrick. Patrick says, hey, I want to get my roof cleaned. Excellent, Patrick. We're going to go give you a quote. Within a matter of like a minute and a half, I was able to create Patrick uh, um, a uh, profile on Quote IQ, and then we did the measurement. The measurement comes out to uh, 4,148 square feet, and we're going to go ahead and click the plus button. It's then going to multiply that times whatever our square footage price that we already entered into the app was, 23 cents. So the total is going to be $954.18. And so what you guys can do is if you want to use this mapping feature kind of as a barometer and you're like, let's say you're slow right now and you're like, you know what, 954 is a little bit high. I know that's, you know, our square footage price, but we're going to cut it down. You can come into the flat rate here and you can say $800. And now we're going to do it for $800. 
let's say that you know you're you're you have way more jobs than what you can handle it's like all right we can't really do his job right now we know it's 954 based on our square footage price we're going to put 1200 on it either way you can kind of use that measurement tool as kind of a barometer to kind of get you in the ballpark and then you kind of gauge you know, whether you really need the job or whatever the case may be can you go back to the map justin yeah absolutely all right give me two seconds guys it's gonna load in Okay, let's come back to the map. Oh, we might have to remeasure if we want to. No, wait, I don't. We don't need to remeasure. Just okay. Map. It's gonna pop in. Got yeah. it. Can we? Do, is Street View enabled on this or no? Uh, I don't have it on here. I will show you guys. Okay, so add that to the list, Mike. Street View needs to be put into the mapping feature in Estimates because Street View is working in the mapping tool. Um, so it just might not be working on this one. So we'll check out Street View. It's just missing the button. So yeah, the button should be right here. And I'll show you guys that on the other tool. All right, so we'll we'll check it out. Um, oh wait, hold on, I'm gonna have to re-put in. Did that? I guess it did. Please enter. Okay, roof wash. All right, so we we decided on twelve hundred for Patrick's roof wash. Boom. Patrick McGill, roof wash. All right, so the service description did not – oh, I didn't update my thing. So when you're editing your services, you need to scroll down to the bottom and click update so that it will save. I didn't save it, so I don't have a service description here. We're just going to leave it like that for now. Same things apply. We can do a discount. We can do taxes. We can collect a deposit on this roof wash if we want to. Um, we can add in our terms and conditions. I have a couple different ones here. Like let's say you had a lawn care business. You can click lawn care. Or if you also offered lawn care, you could have a lawn care contract. We'll click pressure washing contract. We'll save it as the default. Something else that's cool on these estimates. Um, if you go back, yep. <clears throat> excuse me, you have the ability to um, send or uh, upload pictures to your estimate. And this is a great opportunity to upsell. If you, you know, say you happen to be on site and you notice, you know, that, their sidewalk's super dirty or they've got rust stains or there's something, uh, their gutters, you see little trees growing out of their gutters. Um, <clears throat> and you can just take a picture of that real quick because, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words. So, you know, send a picture and say, hey, we can clean your gutters, you know, whatever, $500, $400, $300, whatever your price is. Uh, right. And just give them the opportunity to choose what service it is, is it that they want you to perform. Right. Absolutely. Okay, sweet. I'm going to click out of this because I don't have any photos for this one. But, I, you know, you guys can see we got the terms and conditions. we got all this here, so it's perfect. Terms and conditions is a clickable link, um, and then we can send them um, the estimate via another link. I'm going to show you guys uh, the mapping tool, I believe. Never mind. It's not on here. So we don't have we don't have our street view on here for some reason. I thought I, I could have swore I used it before. Within um, the iPhone and Android right now, there's a little yellow button on the map. And when you click it, it's gonna give you a street view. I was gonna show you guys how street view works, specifically for recording house washes, because sometimes it's hard to see um, you know, how many stories it is from the obviously the aerial view. So street view is something that's super helpful whenever you're quoting house washes, um, but We'll just add it to the list, and that's something that we need to. Uh, and that's what's so great about you know you utilizing this type of tool for quoting remotely is it gives you the opportunity not just to see one view, right? When I when I quote, and I've been doing it for a long time, I use a hybrid model. I want to know how many square feet the property is because that gives me a very good idea of where I need to be price wise. But I also like to see what the front of the house looks like, because then I am able to determine how long it's probably going to take us. All of these things, you know, with time and, and experience, it, it allows you to kind of formulate a price. Um, so just just something else to see. And, you know, sometimes when I'm when I'm using Quote IQ and I pop open an address and I and I go to the house and I see the street view and say my price was seven hundred dollars for the house. And then I see like a. I don't know, like a Tesla X in the driveway. Well, the price just went up 20%, right? Because I know they got money. So you can utilize all kinds of different, um, you know, pricing tactics. The beauty here and the biggest thing, the biggest reason why I wanted to create this was so that way you could quote super fast, right? Like you, that's a competitive advantage within itself. A lot of people, like Mike says, Mike has kind of coined this phrase, the Amazon mentality. A lot of people want to um, call in, they want to get a quote, and they want to make a purchasing decision right now. So having the ability to pick up the phone, hey, I want to get a roof clean, I want to get a driveway clean, I want to get a house wash, excellent. We measure, multiply times our square footage price, shoot them over an estimate, 
And now they have a price. And now we're the first ones. There's a, there's a statistic. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't remember what it is. But a large majority mm-hmm. of people will go with the first price that they get because at the end of the day, you don't really want to shop a lot of prices unless – of course, they're a price shopper. but And then if they're a price shopper, you probably don't want to deal with them in the first place because they're cheap. Um, but yeah, you know, and, and the thing about this is once once you get the hang of it and, you know, you get efficient with this app, you can honestly, while you're talking to the customer, you can be populating the customer fields. You can be getting the quote and, t- you know, within seconds of, you know, getting that call, you could be in theory sending them an estimate to their phone, you know. You could give them a price over the phone as well, um, utilizing, you know, this tool. Uh, I like to have a, a copy of absolutely everything. Plus, it's just that added little extra piece of professionalism that's going to help set, you know, differentiate you from your competition. Imagine you call a pressure washing company and you're expecting to get some chuck in a truck and he's like, hey, man, I'll be over there, get you an estimate later today. And then, you know, rolls up and does this thing. Well, or you you're on the phone and you talk to somebody or you get an email or a text uh, with the, a beautiful PDF. Uh, it gives you the ability to either accept or decline the, um, the, uh, the estimate. And then it, it's just a, it's just a great tool. And it's, it really does make you look so much better than somebody that is not as uh, professional and on top of things. Not to mention if you needed to collect, like, let's say you're just starting out, you don't have the money to, you know, float, whatever. You can collect deposits through this now. You can send invoices and you can get paid via your invoices. So that way you're not knocking at the customer's door right after the job. Like, hey, we're finished up. We're ready to get paid now. And, um, and, and that alone is so huge because, you know, most people have jobs. Most people are busy. Most people don't want to be home just so they can get their house washed. They want to hire you. They want you to do your thing and they want to pay you when you're done. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, the minute everything is done, right? Like we don't, my guys, I just send estimates when the job is complete estimate is generated invoice is sent and the customer will pay us online. Um, probably 99.9% of our customers pay us online, which is awesome, right? It goes straight to our checking account and you don't really have to think about it. It's, it's, it's a great thing. Also, um, Quote IQ now, it, you can integrate it with your QuickBooks. So you can sync up, you can uh, sync up your estimates, your invoices, um, contacts, stuff of that like that, which, uh, which is awesome. So you're not having multiple uh, you know, data entry. It's very nice. You can also... Um, schedule all your appointments. We've got a really cool calendar in here that's got a lot of functionality, which is pretty nice. And the the great thing and the amazing thing about this and the expensive thing about this is we are constantly, constantly uh, working on this app and it's continually evolving from your feedback, right? Um, Like deposits, Dewey is in here. um, And he, he, early on, he was one of the beta testers. He's like, hey, I like to collect deposits on bigger jobs. Uh, There's, it's not in the app. So we put it in the app. Um, the street, the street uh, view, people wanted that. We put it in the app, uh, all kinds of things. One of the things that we're working on right now is once you send the invoice, we're also allowing it, um, allowing you guys to ask, not ask, but the opportunity, there's a, a place for tips. So you can even make extra money uh, when you are uh, when you're out there, because if you're not collecting payment when the job's done, you know, sometimes that's when you get your tip. If, if the customer is going to get your tip. But if you have the opportunity to put that on an estimate or on the invoice, you're going to you're going to make more money. So it's a really good thing. How much does it cost a software per month? Uh, it's free for uh, the free version. And you get you know, we've talked about that. And then the premium is, I think, twenty nine dollars and some a few pennies. I think I can't yeah, remember. We'll go through. We'll go through the subscription pages and show yeah. you guys all of the. And then the, the platinum is forty four dollars and some change, I think. But um, I wanted to show you guys this cheap. because uh, it's cheap. There you go. I, I want to show you guys this because um, where's Truth Seeker at? He commented and said that he wanted to see the the White House. So you, you guys saw us measure the White House. This is going to be a house wash quote. Uh, my typical house wash quote is, is uh, I think it was thirteen or fifteen cents a square foot. I forget. Um, but obviously it's the white house. Like, so we need to be taking that in consideration. Once we have the street view back in there, you'll be able to see a street view of the white house. Obviously it's huge. So we went ahead and up that to 25 cents a square foot, which, you know, like Mike said, take into consideration who your customer is, how big the, you know, the, you know, how big the area of the house is, but how tall is it? Right. That's another right. factor. Taking and then, and then like, like with, uh, the president, um, you, he could forget, um, 
what you told him the price was. So it's great that he's got a document now that he can take and hide in his garage. Uh, if anybody watches the news, they'll get that. That's but, pretty good. The yeah. other good thing about this is it's really going to set you apart from your competition, right? So a lot of a lot of your competition is probably texting over quotes. They might be giving over quotes on, on the phone. This is going to be like a solid document that's going to make you look like a professional company with terms and conditions and, and different things, service descriptions, and you can add pictures. You can really kind of make your estimates complex, and we're going to add more complexity to the estimates, but it's just another one of those little competitive advantages that you're going to get when you're using a software like this because you're going to look like somebody who knows what they're doing, like a professional company. <clears throat> okay, I want, to, I want to answer a few of these questions real quick. Um, how much does it cost the software? We talked about that. Maybe we'll this one. one. Will mapping feature work in, for Canada? Yes. It works everywhere. Um, created a custom service for dumpster pads, sold a job through Code IQ. Hell yes. I love that, Austin. Um, one thing to remember when doing roof wash estimates, this is what I wanted to touch on. Um, okay. Always take into consideration the roof pitch um, for your pricing. And, and so that's actually something that uh, we've got on the short list of things. And it's just going to be a multiplier that you uh, that that's going to be added to roof washing because the pitch and we're not going to necessarily do pitch because most people don't know how to measure pitch. So it's going to be a complexity level, really. There'll probably be three levels um, and you can just pick, you know, was it super like completely unwalkable or is it walkable? And then that will allow you to just kind of and, and you'll be able to decide what your factor is uh, multiplier to increase that price. So, yeah, that's a great, great uh, addition there. SNS cleaning. Um, okay, well, I want to go back, Mike. Hold on. Let me go back to the top and we can just work down if you're cool with that. I'm not cool with that. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Um, thank you guys for making this. I'm currently a truck driver and very interested in getting into this line of work. Thanks for all the hard work you guys put in. I do want to mention, if you guys want to win, if you want to play with all these features, go ahead and get in. Get a premium or platinum account with QuadIQ so that way you can be entered to win uh, the giveaway. Four gallon minute pressure washer, 100 feet of hose and a 20 inch service cleaner that we're going to be doing on Monday. Um, that's going to be coming up and we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing another uh, giveaway as well. I'm going to keep coming down. I just want to hit everybody that we missed. We're going to do a big Q and a right now. Um, what is this? Y'all need to make it to where we can send a quote without requiring a phone number so we can quickly quote someone on Facebook. So that's why we, that's why you have the mapping tool specifically. So like, let's say you just wanted to measure out the square footage. You could hop into the mapping tool. One reason why we wanted to make, we wanted to make some of these things mandatory in here because we want you to work a little bit harder to get that information from the customer. Like, let's say you're, you're quoting just a random customer. You really want to have that for later, right? Mike, can you speak to the importance of having all these people's information when yes. you go back? Absolutely. That's one of the things that um, Cody and I have talked about uh, a lot here because we all use our customers' information, right? Um to market to them. And if you're not, if you're not collecting their phone numbers, if you're not collecting their emails, it is mandatory for my customers in order to get a quote, they have to get, they have to give me their phone number and they have to give me their address. If they do not, they are not serious and they are price shopping. I don't want to deal with those people. Collect the information. If people are serious, they're going to give it to you. Right? So that's, that's what I'm saying for the, for the first five, six years of my business, I didn't collect that data. Right. I just I just gave quotes and didn't didn't um, never followed up because I didn't have their information. Had I had that five or 10 years worth of addresses and phone numbers, email addresses and phone numbers, I would continually still be marketing to them and I would get more jobs just because somebody calls you this year and you don't they don't hire you. That doesn't mean next year that they won't give you the chance. And if you're staying in front of them with your email and your text marketing, then, you know, the opportunities will be there in the future. So collect that data. Um, and you don't have to use the Quote IQ app in order to, you know, I mean, you can use it and just send over a price. You, you don't have to, you know, I don't know. But I want to I want to double down on what you said, Mike, because the like use the information and the data collection as kind of like a, a screen, if you will, to screen out people who are price shoppers, because if they're not going to, if they're not willing to give you a phone number or an email, how serious are they about getting a quote? I know I, I do business on Facebook as well. I know that some of those people just want to get a quick price and that's something that you can do, but use the mapping tool, measure it out, multiply it times your square foot price, send them a quick price. And if they, if they don't want to move any further, uh, don't move further with them. But the importance of this is, and the reason why I want it in there is because 
this tool moving forward, we're going to have the option to text all of your contacts in here. We're going to have the, the option for um, email automation within, um, you know, you send out an estimate. Let's say you hadn't heard anything back. It's going to follow up with them. You're going to be able to set email campaigns. So having this information in there is going to be absolutely crucial to your ability to remarket to these people. And one other thing with regards to that is you're spending money to acquire Facebook customers, right? Like let's say that you spent, you know, $12 for that message conversion. You want to make sure that you get that customer's complete information so that way you never have to remarket to acquire their information again, right? That $12 should get you their name, number, email. That way we can continue to reach back out to them year over year over year over year. And if you never collect that information, you won't be able to remarket to them. Right, Mike? Yes. Beautiful. So the phone number is, I, I made it to where the email was not mandatory. I know how it is with email sometimes, but just if, if Facebook, you know, if it's an issue, say, Hey, we do send our estimates um, through text message just because it's easier with the link. Um, please provide us your, your, um, your number and we'll send you over an estimate as soon as possible. If they don't respond, they probably weren't very serious. Austin created a custom service for dumpster pads, sold a job through quote IQ. We appreciate Austin. Thank you for using quote IQ. You guys can use the free version too and take advantage of that. If you, let's say you can't afford, um, the paid version at the moment. Um, let's come through actually. I mean, we can, we'll finish answering all the questions here at the end. We created a couple estimates. Let's say that some of these people actually wanted it done. So we'll hop over in estimates. Let's say that uh, Patrick wanted that roof wash done, right? We can move this over into like, let's go ahead and schedule this event now. I'm going to show you guys how the scheduling works on here. So we're going to do that on the 8th, Mike, at, what do you think, 9 a.m.? I, I think that's a great time. Is that what time you guys start work at or 8 a.m.? Um, I would like everybody to start at 8 a.m., Beautiful. Well, well, this year we're just gonna we're just gonna clean this house um, at eight a.m. I mean at nine a.m. Okay, so open it, it moved from open into scheduled, so that way you know. Like I said, all of these should be followed up with. Well, obviously, this is a pretend account that I just play with, so all those should be followed up with. We're gonna hop into the calendar. Okay. We're gonna hop into the calendar here. Hold on two seconds. I gotta do something at three. That's why that's going on. Okay, we're gonna hop into the calendar here. We're gonna go to the eighth. We have Bill Baggins. Uh, we've double booked ourselves. We have Bill Baggins and we have Patrick McGill here. Um, but the cool thing, we've actually restructured the calendar so that way you guys could see exactly how much money you're going to make on the day. Also, if you, you have a quick view on the calendar now, so you know how booked out you are, right? So I know if I look at my calendar right now, I'm like, okay, well, we got two things on Wednesday. We got one thing on Monday uh, for this week in February. And if I click on the day, I know that, you know, Monday we're going to be making, you know, $1,100 because we got the, the jobs booked out. So it's going to give you, you know, this is a roof wash, this is a house wash, driver cleaning. And from the calendar, we wanted to make it to where you could run your business. So like, let's say we go do Bill, Bill Baggins' house. We can then click done. From the done button, we can then invoice our mark as paid. So let's say like he gave us a check or something. We can mark this as paid. And what it's going to do is, is it then going to uh, mark it within our invoices. It's going to mark it on the home screen that it was paid. Um, and it's going to do a bunch of different stuff. So now this is marked as paid here. And that will be reflected here on our income for this year. And it's going to be reflected everywhere. So we wanted to make it to where you could even run your business from the calendar if you want to. We got a bunch of other stuff coming. We even have permissions coming. So if you got employees, they will only be able to see things like the calendar and it's going to hide stuff and it's going to be great. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how the flow kind of worked. Once we kind of scheduled somebody, did the job, marked it as paid. You can create an invoice from that or you can mark it as paid. And then the good thing is, is that estimate is now in the paid column. So we know that it's done, right? So we know that Bill Baggins, wasn't that who it was? Who was it? <coughs> well, Bill Baggins was double booked. Double booked Bill Baggins. I don't know. He's probably down here somewhere. It's just I. Uh, here he is, old Bill. Okay. Anyway, Bill Baggins. Yeah, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Um, I am putting a note in, Justin, because I don't want to be able to double book. Okay. That is a good idea. We shouldn't be able to double book. The The biggest thing with the app currently, you guys, is we just want everyone to work with us, right? Like, we are going to do our absolute best to make this app the best for every single person. So, like, as you guys can see, we're having a little issue here with our month to date. Like, it shouldn't look like that. So, we're going to make a tweak on that. Um but in the beginning, we just need a little bit of, you know, for you guys to give us feedback. Hey, this isn't working. Hey, this kind of tweaked out right here. And we're going to make all the adjustments. Um, Are you guys ever going to put yes. text and email blast? Yes. I think we just covered that, right? That's why, that's why it's mandatory. 
When editing descriptions after quote has been made, the app crashes on my iOS 16.3. When editing descriptions after quote has been made, let's try that. <clears throat> so we're going to come into edit estimates. We'll come into truth seekers estimate here. Edit. Save and continue. Next, we're going to edit his description. So let's erase this. So this is what we do. Wait, what, Mike? Nothing, and I'm also going to try it on my phone to see if there's a different. Boom! Um, this is a test. Let's proceed. Yeah, so it's not it's not not working right now. We'll test this though. We'll make a note and test it. Um, so there you go. Now it works. This for anybody who doesn't know, this is the edit button, so you could easily hop in and edit. We also have a PDF button, so if you just wanted to get a quick PDF of what it looks like, here it is. You could text this, you could download it, and then you got a PDF version of um, your estimate as well. Um, cracking me Also, up. like one of the guys was saying that he wishes that we didn't have to get phone numbers or whatever. Like I just created a customer honestly in like three seconds. Wait, wait what do you mean, Mike? Like he was saying it's just too cumbersome <laughs> to uh, to have to put in all the, the data fields when oh. like when he was doing his Facebook quote or whatever. Um, that's why we just went ahead and told you how important data fields are because right. you want to be able to text them later. You want to be able to email them later. You spent money. You have to think of it this way. You spent money. You spent time. You had a referral. Like Effort was spent in order to get that customer to contact you. So we need to take that time in order to take full advantage of all that information because we don't have to. We don't want to have to re-spend to acquire that information. That information is incredibly valuable. When will the desktop be ready for launch? Um, early to late next week. Probably sometime next week, right, right, Mike? Yeah, next week. Any codes to put in on getting quote IQ? I don't know. That. Yeah, your credit card number. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any promo. Code. But like, and I wanted to touch on this because Justin, you'd said you know, like if you're if you're if you can't afford it, you're just starting out. Um, you know, there's the free version, and yes, the free version is is great, right? There's a lot of great. Um, uh, the free version gives you, you know, a lot of ability to make your business, you know, stand out, look more professional, allows you to keep up with your customers and things of that nature. Um, but it, when, when you start getting a couple bucks, you're going to spend 29 bucks a month for the premium version. Uh, that's like 30 cents a day or something like that. It's something minuscule or a dollar a day or something, dollar 30. I can't remember what it is. And honestly, and I'm not trying to be rude or mean, but if you can't afford $29 a month, to invest in your business, then something is wrong with your business, right? Um, $29 a month is like, don't go to McDonald's twice. Don't go to Starbucks four times. You know, like there are things that you can eliminate out of your life if, 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 if it's that hard to spend $29 on investing in your, on, in your business. Like the premium version, you get the dashboard analytics. You are able to create um, uh, all kinds of amazing, like you get you, you, everything that about your business is right here, right? Your profit and loss statement, what you did last month, it gives you absolutely everything you need. So you have a complete pulse of your business all of the time. Um, so we don't offer any discounts because in my opinion, it is already significantly discounted to the point where it, it, it almost pains me how cheap it is compared to what our competition out there is charging for way less than what we are giving you guys. Right. And the thing is, guys, is it's, you know, our plan is to go up. Like we want to add in more. It, the other thing is it costs a lot of money to like develop all these different things. So the better we make this app, the more features we pack into it, the more beneficial we make it for you guys. Look, how much how much time are you guys wasting currently going out and doing quotes? Right. We can equate it in that way. Right. Somebody calls you up. You're like, OK, great. Let me schedule for Wednesday, you know, February, whatever. And I'll meet you out there at 6 p.m. You don't have to do that anymore. Now you, I just showed you guys how to remote quote. I'm going to save you all the gas. I'm going to save you all the time. And we're going to see whether this customer is, you know, sitting on, sitting on the edge or they're willing to make a decision right now. Hey, the well, price is. Exactly. And you're going to close more deals when you can quote faster. That's why, that's why I don't do any in-person residential quoting. Haven't for 10 years because I close more deals from my desk, from my car, from wherever than I can running around and, you know, shaking hands and looking somebody in the eye. That's old school. It, it works. You know, you can do that, but you're not going to close as many because I guarantee you if Susie homeowner 
picks up, you know, her phone and Google's pressure washing in her city and three people pop up. She's going to call the first one. And if the price is agreeable, she's going to say schedule it. If she calls the first guy and he says, yeah, I'll be out there on Tuesday at 8 you know, p.m. to give you an estimate. And then she calls the next guy and it's me or it's you because you're using Quote IQ. And you go, yep, we can do that. Um, it's going to be $550 and I can have it on the schedule for Thursday. Well, guess who's going to get the job? You are. Speed and efficiency are going to be uh, your, your ally in closing absolutely more jobs. And you can utilize Quote IQ to not only make that happen from the you know, the, the software side of things, but it makes you look really good too and professional and, and allows you the ability to, you know, do it almost instantaneously. So yes, absolutely. Um, another thing that I want to, you know, let's walk through right quick. Okay. So the free version you guys are going to get, you're going to be able to create customers. You're going to be able to create and send estimates, invoices, collect payments, and you're also going to get the mixing calculator for free, which we'll show you guys that in here in a minute. Just because it's a cool tool if you're just starting on your pressure washing business and you don't know how to mix bleach. Now, with the premium package, you're going to get all the free features. You're going to get that measuring tool I just showed you, the Map Street View, which is on iPhone and Android currently. You're going to get the business analytics dashboard. I mean, okay, you talk about the money. It's $30 a month right now. Like how much, you know, to give yourself these analytics on how much your business is spending, what your close ratio is, all these different things, where your leads are coming from, all this different stuff. You're going to be able to track expenses. You get our national averages guide, mixed calculator, mass import, QuickBooks, a sync. You're going to get access to this website. And then like on the, on the platinum version, you get the 28 point inspection. Like how much would you pay to not have the liability of a customer blaming something on you, a pre-existing damage, right? Like that could pay for itself in an instant. So we're building things out and things cost money because it's going to offer you guys a lot of value like even with the way that things are scheduled. So when you send an estimate to a customer and like, let's say they accept, we want to be able to on the back end of that accept, have a calendar pop up and the calendar pretty much matches this calendar. And you set timeframes up to where the customer can just go ahead and schedule themselves right after they have accepted the estimate. Like we've got all kinds of things that we can't talk about. We can't talk about anything else. I'm I'm not going to say anything else other than that. Um, anyway, all right, that uh, that was just a ramble to show you guys that there's just so many other things that we want. Also, to I did go in, I created a new customer and I uh, edited it and it didn't crash. So wh- whoever that was, if you guys are, um, if y'all are, if, if you're having an issue, um, make sure that it's, it's something that is replicatable. Like <clears throat> I just went in and, and I edited it like four different times just to make sure Um, but my app is up to date. It's got the latest version. So make sure that you've got the latest version of the app, because honestly, at this point, we're making updates like usually at least once a week, you know, sometimes two or three if if needed, because we're finding things. Um, and that's just part of it. You know, this is, this, this app is in its infancy. Um, it, it, it went live, uh, late September and, uh, it's, it's come so far along people that were using it at the very beginning, uh, and have, are using it now. Uh, it's it's a completely different app. And, and for anybody that's watching, if you used it initially and you didn't love it, go try it out again, right? Because it is completely different. So, right. Uh, is there material selection area that the user can input prices for estimates, um, aka brick, vinyl, hardy board, stucco? I think that that is something that's going to be forthcoming. But that's all the way. Yeah. Um, uh, there's quote IQ. We're not going to answer that. Uh, do you offer a free trial? Yes, we have free trials on Android and um, Apple currently. 14 yeah. days. So you get there's a 14 weeks. day free trial if you're using an Apple um, device. You can just do that right through the Apple Store. If you're using Android, um, you will need to email admin at quote iq.io and request a, a promo code for. The free version, that's how Android does it, unfortunately. You can't just do it randomly. It has to be assigned. Uh, so admin at quote iq.io and just say, please send me a promo code for the free trial, and they will do that. Perfect. How long does it take for money to be deposited after a transaction? I think so it's- this this is dependent upon um, you. If And, it, and I, I don't exactly understand how it all works. Our payment processing goes through Stripe, which is the largest... Um, payment processing company in the world. They handle probably 99% of all payment processes on everything that you've ever purchased online. And uh, so it's safe, it's secure. And that's why we chose them because we wanted the best for the best app out there. And um, 
once you put in all of your information, I think they do some sort of risk assessment. And based on, you know, they just ask for your checking account information where you want the stuff deposited. But I know that some guys get it like almost instantly. And then others, it takes a day, maybe two days. Um, but again, that's based on you. And the more that you do with Stripe, the more that, you know, then, then they give you the opportunity to have like instant deposits, same day deposits, all of that. As you're, as you're using the app, as you're invoicing, as you're getting paid more, your risk level decreases for Stripe um, because if a customer pays you, it has to process, right? And then at that point, Stripe then puts it into your checking account. If your customer pays you and then they do some shady stuff and Stripe already pays you, then Stripe gets screwed out of the money. So that's that's why that is. Right. They have to wait for all of the money to settle and transactions. It An answer to this question is if you're using any other payment processor, it takes the exact same amount of time. It's not going to take any longer. It's the payment processor that is used most widely. That's why we went with them. They're literally... They literally process billions upon billions of dollars um, every single day, probably. Yeah. Maybe not that much. Yes, this live stream will be on both Justin's channel and my channel. If you guys go up to the top of the screen, it'll say lives and you can go in there and find it. Will my subscription fee automatically go into the expenses folder of the app? Um, it will not. However, um, we have been, I need to rewrite this on the list because we wanted to do recurring expenses. Remember that, Mike? Mm -hmm. Um recurring expenses so that way like you know you have all your expenses in here supplies insurance taxes like we know that insurance is coming out every month and it's usually pretty static sometimes it's not uh, but like rent you know rent's not going to change so we are going to be adding in recurring expenses so that way um you'll be able to the duration. yeah so um the, we'll be coming. yeah uh cost calculator oh you want to run through that yeah let's look at that I need to actually like clear my calculator real quick. Let's try to clear this. <clears throat> so what we've got here, this is this one of the biggest questions that we get on the daily basis is how much should I charge for stuff, right? Like, you know, and there's some conversations going on in the chat right now about square foot pricing and this and that. And somebody said, well, damn, I'm charging 20 cents a square foot and someone else, you know, we're doing this or that. <clears throat> Excuse me. The it doesn't matter what we're using. This is just showing you guys, you know, what what how the the, the operational side of Quote IQ works. Your pricing is going to be based on a number of things. It's going to be based on your market. It's going to be based on your business. And what we have done is built in this hourly rate calculator to help you guys understand what you need to be charging uh, in order to have a profitable business, right? So this hourly rate calculator, you can go in and you can enter your monthly expenses for absolutely everything. And it's completely editable. You can add a million things to it if you want, but it's got rent, it's got, you know, equipment, it's got gas, it's got, you know, whatever, uh, supplies, bleach, you can put, you can make as many as you want. And as you add your monthly expenses in here, it calculates out what your yearly expenses are going to be. And then it's, everything is based on about a four, it's based on a 40 hour work week. And so after you add all of that in, you also can put in your hourly rate for employees, for yourself, whatever you're paying for yourself, your labor costs are in there. And if you've got one employee or it's, if it's just you, or if you've got 20 employees, you can add as many as you want, but what it's going to do is it's going to give you your break even number, right? And um, I really can't see what the break even number is. Eight, Right. So it's going to give you what you need to charge per hour to just break even. Right. That means zero profit. So in order to cover all of your expenses, you need to charge uh, X amount of dollars uh, per hour. Then this is when you determine how much you want to make. Right. 50 percent, 60 percent, 70 percent margin. Then, so then you put that percentage in there and it's going to tell you what your target hourly rate is, meaning how much you should target per hour to charge your customers, right? And that's going to give you a really good baseline for uh, how to give estimates. Once you get a little bit of experience under your belt and you know how long things are going to take, you can say, okay, well, I know a 4,000 square foot house is probably going to take me about three and a half hours and I need to charge uh, $200 an hour. So I need to charge, what well, I said three hours, like 600 bucks for yeah. that. Um and then conversely, if you want to, you know, backwards engineer the price from there based on your hourly rate, you can then figure out what your square foot price is, right? I don't care what my competition down the street is charging per square foot. It makes no difference to me because his, biz his business is completely different than mine, 
My business is my business. It's based on my overhead, my expenses, my costs, everything, how much I want to make, right? Maybe I want to make more than that guy. Maybe I've got bigger aspirations. Maybe my target demographic that I'm going after is better than his. Therefore, I can charge more. So understanding how much you need to charge is absolutely critical to the success and profitability of your business. And because of that, we've included the hourly rate calculator in Quote IQ for you guys to use. I want to show this because that was, a, I'm glad you mentioned that, Mike. We put a toggle here for you guys. So like, let's say you went in there. We just, we just did some random, we threw in some random numbers and it said that with a 50% profit margin with all the expenses that I entered in, we needed to be charging $129 an hour. <laughs> so if you want to quote based on hours, you can, you can flip over here to the hourly rate calculator and it says your hourly rate. This really should say 129. And then let's say in one cent, we're just going to put 129. But like, let's say, you know, hours required. You look at a house watch, you say, I think that one's going to take me about two and a half hours. So you come in here, two and a half hours, boom, $322.50. Same thing with concrete, right? Yeah. You can put forward hourly, hourly rate. We can set this to 129, which is what it was. And then you know, whatever we think, if you think it's going to take three hours, it's 387, which, you know, that's right. And then boom, you ship it off to the customer. Yeah. Boom. You, you just create the estimate. Um, so I'm glad you mentioned that Mike, cause we've never even talked about that on here. Let's see if we got any other questions. There's going to be an option. Is there going to be an option to put a time frame on a job on the calendar so we don't double book? <laughs> yeah. We just said that that is on the short list of things to do as well. So what the way that I envision this is every job you're going to assess a time frame to how much, and and these are these are going to be basically averages, right? That's that's the system that um that we're going to kind of target is you know a house wash for you know a, an average house wash is going to take two hours, uh, average driveway is going to take an hour and a half, and so if you schedule a house wash in a driveway, then it's going to calculate out the you know the five and a half hours or whatever it is to do that job, and then it's going to fill up that calendar so nothing else can get booked during that time frame. So because we've got some pretty cool things in the works that I'm very excited about, which all of that's going to feed into. We're in an interesting predicament right now where it's like there's so much for us to build that we really have to prioritize what's going to move the needle the most for you guys. So right now, like getting the web feature out was one of the biggest things, um, like getting the mobile version out, like getting some of these things like deposits or recurring payments or even tips on the back of invoices. So that way you guys can. Uh, collect, you know, tips and get some extra money. Those are all things are, are that are important to us. And those are all things that you guys have mentioned to us that are important. So whatever feedback we're getting from you guys is what we're going to implement, you know, first, like people told us that they wanted the tablet version of quote IQ. So we made sure that the tablet version could come out. People said that, Hey, we want the web version. So we're putting the web version out like next things for us are like email campaigns, text campaigns. Cause a lot of people say, Hey, we want to have that in there. So whatever's the top priority for you guys is the top priority for us. All we need is time, and we're going to make everything as best as we can make it. Uh, Justin, will you click on Chuck's dad? Uh, I did a, a job last year that had a ton of pavers, but it was all filled between with regular sand. Homeowner wanted it all washed out and replaced with paver lock stand. How to quote that with Quote IQ. And then if you, if you go down a, a little bit further, uh, he clarified what he was talking about. I mean, without going to job site and talking with homeowner, how would you know? Well, it's, it's just like any job. Like this is why, you know, Quote IQ is great for doing instant quotes, remote quoting, uh, fast, effective, efficient, all of the things. Uh, but it's what you're talking about is the reason why I don't typically use Quote IQ for big commercial jobs because there are more, they're more involved. Now it's your job, not ours to have that discussion with the, with the homeowner, right? If they say, yeah, I want a, a, a driveway wash and you go to quote IQ and you measure it and you give them the price and then you get there and they're like, oh, well, yeah, but I also wanted all of the sand removed and I wanted to, you know, well, it's completely different service, right? So uh, that's, that's a communication issue that, you know, you're going to have to have the, the conversation with the customer. Um, in order to uh, be able to quote, you know, it's, this is, th th there's no magic bullet here. You know, there are, there are going to be times when you have to go and look at a job. Um, right. Or you can ask for a picture from the customer, right? Like if you got a picture, maybe you'd be able to eyeball it. But like, it's, like Mike said, you're going to want to go out and do some of these things in person. Really it's for the ma uh, the mass majority of jobs. Like how many of the, how many of the jobs that you get have this like very specific paver, you know, requirement. It's not that many. The biggest services that we get are house washes, driveway cleanings, and, and roof washes. Right. And you can uh, put in paver, you know, uh, you can create your own products or your own services within Quote IQ for all of the things that you offer. You know, I, I uh, ask for folks to 
tell us what service industries they want us to include um, into Quote IQ. We've got, you know, we've got mobile detailing. We've got um, uh, what else right now? Landscaping and pressure washing. And right. we've got like four or five others that are, you know, there again, we've got uh, our team working on it, but it, it takes time. Right. And so um, people will say stuff like um, I want paver sealing as a, well, Paver sealing isn't a, you know, maybe that's your job, right? That's what you do. That's a service you offer, but there's not going to be an entire app, you know, built around that. You can go in and you can create your own service for whatever that you want, right? Down at the very bottom, Justin's going, look, add a custom service, put in, um, you know, uh, paver lock, um, <laughs> whatever. I don't even know, sanding and paver then put in your price and set an estimate for that. Yeah. I don't even know what paver sanding costs. What is it? 150 or 160. Good. And then you could say, Sand papers to make <laughs> them look better, right? Like just something super simple. And then you get to pick your, what is it? What is it? It's a per quantity, right? It's per paper. So we put in per quantity. If you're doing like linear footage, it would be something like a, um, a gutter clean. There would clean out. square foot pricing on that because that's how they do it. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I did see something interesting um, from, I'm assuming it's Manchester United fans. He said, can you say hi to my grandpa? It's his 70, 70 second birthday today. And uh, Justin's channel is his favorite. Oh, wait, my channel is your, and you got, well, our, both of us are. So well, we went to, I went to school with this guy because I'm old. Oh, did you really? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you even say that you went to school with him, Mike? Because he's, it's, he's 72 years old and, and people oh, always... Man. Give me a hard time because I'm so old and you're so young. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Happy birthday. Uh, yeah. I wish we had a name. Happy birthday, Gramps. Yeah. Know. Happy birthday, Pawpaw. <laughs> okay, Peepaw. sweet. Wait, what? I said Peepaw. Was that what you call your grandpa? Like? No, I call him uh, Grandfather. <laughs> Hello, Grandfather. Hello, I'm Grandfather. <laughs> he, he made me call him Mr. Vidan. Did he really? No. Oh, grand no grandpa. Really. It's always grandpa. Uh, what's the national price range per square foot for concrete? You're going to have to get the, uh, if you get the <laughs> premium version, not only will you be entered to win a pressure washing business starter kit, but you're also going to get um, all One the national year. average prices. That's right. Yeah. So make sure you all do that if y'all want to uh, win. Let me see what else. <laughs> Austin, um, if you have the app, then you're probably getting emails from us every single day. Reply back to that email. Yeah, so Austin, how do you do it? You go to support at quoteiq.io. If, if anybody finds any bugs or issues, support at quoteiq.io. We are, I would say this, Mike, and I don't know other apps, we are the most responsive at fixing any issue within the app. All you have to do is provide us with enough information. People will message us and they'll say, hey, I'm having a bug or an issue here. And we're like, great. Send us a video recording of how you created the issue so we can recreate it, fix the issue, and push an update. And Unless, when, yeah. when you email that support email address, it will prompt you. You'll get an email back that says, please provide the following things. If you do not provide the following things, we cannot help you. We do need your login information. We do need a screen recording. We need to be able to replicate in order to fix. So please provide that. Don't, don't just send me an email that says the app is buggy. Okay. When you, when, when you go to the auto mechanic, you just drop off your car and say, fix it. No, you got to give him some details so he can troubleshoot. That's what we're doing. Um, someone says, when I purchase the app and create my account, will it import my customers from QuickBooks? Uh, you are able to integrate from QuickBooks with QuickBooks. Um, and there's a sync button on there. Uh, you're going to have to connect and it connects directly to QuickBooks and, and you're able to do that. As far as your uh, contacts, you need to export your contacts from QuickBooks into a spreadsheet. And then on the, uh, when, when you'll see, it, it'll say import contacts on the um, on the app on the sidebar, you'll be able to follow the steps there. When you export into your uh, CVS file, you're going to need to um, make sure that it is set up exactly how it's formatted within Quote IQ. Uh, that's what you need to do. If you've got any questions, support at QuoteIQ.io and we will get back to you. But I, I did a video on it as well in the app, so you can open up the app where it says Import Contacts. Watch a little video. If you've got any questions after that, please let us know. Chuck's dad. We will answer your questions. Ignores questions. Read FAQ about upselling quote IQ. Dude, like, <laughs> see, these are the people that we don't want to buy the app. Like, I'll just say, Chuck, just don't even worry about the app because, like, we did answer your question, right? Like, you 
you can get a picture, you can go in person. You can't quote every single job remotely. You can only quote the big ones, right? Like, I don't know. Anybody that's got a, a picture in their profile wearing a mask in a car, come on, guy. Oh, he's got one. He's got a mask on his forehead, too. Yeah. Chuck's a good um, guy, I guess. But, but I'm just kidding. Chuck, we want you to buy the app. We want you to use the app. But also the app is not like just because you ran into one job once in your life where you didn't ask the right questions doesn't mean that the app isn't doing its job or you know, it just doesn't make sense. But this is a good question, Mike. Are you, Mike, are you the one coding Quote IQ or you have hired somebody to do the work on the app and the website? Mike actually does it all. So like you guys probably see him a lot on YouTube during the day. He works, he doesn't sleep. He just works all night on Quote IQ. So if there's any issues, you really just blame Mike because he's yeah. the one to blame. I've got, a, I've got a master's degree in coding from MIT. There's my diploma right there. Dang, I had no idea, but that's great. Can this be used for business apart from pressure washing? Absolutely. Absolutely. Any service business, any business. Mike Terman says, I pay $300 a month for the one that I use now. What you're offering is unreal for the price. Like, do you even need to hear anything else? Mike Terman, I guarantee, makes more than probably 99% of any pressure washing company on the face of the earth. Absolutely. So. And Mike is going to come see us at WashCon, WashCon next Live. week in uh, Roanoke, Alabama. We are having a pretty awesome event. Um, Cody Arborough from Southeast Softwash, uh, Aaron Parker from Aaron's Lean and Mean Academy, Justin Rogers from Forever Self-Employed, and yours truly are doing a live event in Roanoke, Alabama at Southeast Softwash, where we are going to spend an entire day um, basically diving into what moves the needle in your business to make you more money, to make you more successful, to make you more efficient, more profitable, all of the things that are going to help your business grow and scale. And uh, then the second day is a VIP roundtable where we're going to sit down just, you know, a few folks uh, at a table and we are going to dive specifically into your business, looking at your marketing, looking at your SEO, looking at, you know, your operational side of things, your, your systems, uh, everything like that. And it's pretty awesome. If you want more information on that, there are only like two tickets left and that's washconlive.com. Boom. Truth Seeker says, and I'm sure this is the cheapest it will ever be, which it, which it is. That's yeah. right. The price might go up as they keep adding features, get in on the ground floor. Absolutely. Like, Oh, the price is going up. There's no question. The amount of money that we spent over the past, uh, you know, 14, 15 months is more than most people make in a year. <laughs> more, more than probably most people and their spouse and their brother and sister make in a year, actually. Um, okay. What else do we have? Are payment processing fees included in the monthly subscription? They're not. They are on each payment. It's just like, if you go into a store and you swipe your credit card, everyone pays payment processing fees per transaction. Like that's just a part of the game. If there was a way that we could create our own payment processor and like maybe eliminate fees altogether, maybe we would, but we'd have to hold like a billion dollars because it would be, it would just be impossible. So yes, you paid transaction fees on every, just with regards to transaction fees. If you guys are that worried about them, just add on a little bit of a fee for a convenience fee for your customers paying using a credit card. No. And don't, don't even talk about it. Yeah, just put convenience fee on there. Like no, no, don't even put any. Don't just upcharge a little no, bit. No, just add. I mean, if if it's like a couple points, right? So add an extra ten dollars. It's not going to be that much. Add an extra ten dollars to your price, right? If if you're worried, and and this is when people get into the minutia. This is this is the low level stuff that that absolutely makes zero. In, I, Grand scale of things, yes, it is important. You need to know where every penny is. But if you're worried about a 1.5% finance plus a 33%, you know, like 33 cents or whatever the case, I can't remember exactly what it is, then you really need to increase your prices, right? Add $5 to your price and you've covered every kind of transaction fee. But don't, don't broadcast that. Just it's part of the price. It's just like you don't give an itemized list of, um, well, I pay, you know, $25 a month for this and my gas cost me this and uh, I have rent and my truck payment is this and my insurance payment. The customer doesn't need to know any of that. They need to know what the price is. So build it into your price. Boom. Exactly. Um, well, you have an annual subscription. We do currently have an annual subscription. So if you scroll down on the subscription, I'll just show you guys exactly where it's at. So that way there's no question. So you come in here, come down into subscription packages. We need to tell Simon to, I mean, we need to tell the developer to remove this because um, that's not what it's supposed to say. It's only supposed to do that if you don't have the paid version. But if you just scroll down, you can see, even save money. If you guys are worried about saving money, just you get the 
um, annual subscription. So it's already built in. Boom. Um, like, look, look at that, Justin. $434.95. And that's like a decent house wash, right? That's one job. For the year. For the year. One yeah. job pays for the app for a year. Like th put put it into that type of perspective. And if you think four hundred and thirty four dollars or whatever it is 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 <clears throat> an expensive house wash, then get your prices up. Boom. I'm trying to use the app, and it keeps locking up on the ad business screen. Just keeps loading. Any ideas on how to get past this? I've tried re-downloading the app several times. Screen record the issue and um, send us an email to support at quoteiq.io. I'll put it in the chat. And we will fix it. You also have to send us your login because we'll just send it to the developer. He'll have access. And oh, well, I guess you can't even create the login. So just screen record the issue from the beginning and we'll fix it. I mean, there's like hundreds of accounts that get created every day. So this isn't like a ongoing issue for a lot of people. Maybe you didn't add in your profile picture. I'm not sure. What yeah, it, you have to have a profile picture. Make sure every, everything is, 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 uh, is filled out on the, uh, on the setup. Did you do the giveaway stream for the pressure washer? Not yet, but we are doing it on. Well, we're going to give it away on Monday. So be on the lookout for Monday. DJ, they already do this with the app. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, he's talking about the annual subscription. Okay. Oh, Lord, these two are back at it. I'm calling the police. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> the core two. Those are the yeah. ones that says. Uh, salute, guys. What POS system do you guys use? Quote IQ. But IQ, there you go. What, no other questions about it. So you can even make a job task for restoration. You can, make, you can create custom um, services as many as you want for whatever you want. Um, you can do flat rate. You can do square foot. You can do linear foot. You can do per uh, whatever, per unit uh, pricing. So, you know, if you're charging like like for window cleaning, uh, you, and you're going to say, okay, window is, you know, $3 a window. You put it in, you put in three, it calculates out if you're charging 10 bucks, 30 bucks, boom, send off your estimate. Boom. Um, do you have any apps you recommend to keep record of miles? I know I use QuickBooks to keep <laughs> QuickBooks. <laughs> and that's something we probably will add in as well. Um, and in fact, that's a really good idea, Victor. It's just, like I said, there's so much stuff for us to build right now that we're just building what, what people ask for the most. Um, we can go through a couple other questions and then we'll wrap. Is that cool, Mike? Yeah. The pressure washing businesses still use price lists as far as putting the price list on flyers. I wouldn't do that. I mean, I would like, we have to think about what the idea of a flyer is, right? We want to have people call us to acquire about getting things done. If I put a price on there, like I don't even get the opportunity to speak with the customer. So that's not something that I would necessarily do. Pressure still use price list. Never use a price list. Never use a price list. Just use Quad IQ. How how much does the app cost? It's really cheap. Like it's incredibly cheap. You should really check it out. Look at the subscriptions page within the app. Um, I'm set at 17 again to the business. Do you have any tips for me? Yeah, watch our channels. And keep track of your customers because you're going to need those. Those are the lifeblood of your business. Yeah, if you're 17 and you're starting your business now, think about the amount of customers information that you'll have when you're 25. Right. That's those are probably thousands of people that you'll be able to remarket to. Exactly. Uh, will the app be able to give me an end of year invoice for all the fees and subscription? The subscription is one fee and or the subscription is just like the subscription price for using the app. All the fees on any transactions are going to be done through Stripe. And yes, they will. Uh, you can go into your Stripe account. We don't do anything with the payment processing. We use like a third party, which is Stripe, which transacts like ton of money every every year that's why we went with them because they're like the best and so all the payment processing goes through them so you just would access your stripe account and you'd be able to see everything and you'll be able to download all the tax tax documentation in your stripe account for your accountant for year end taxes boom thank you guys justin and mike for picking up all my questions absolutely that's what we're here for we're gonna wrap probably on that mike you cool with that i am uh do you want to pick a word of the day is there a word of the day quote iq or today's quote IQ if you guys made this far in the video, comment down below quote IQ and I'll hashtag your rule. And we got we'll see you guys uh probably Monday when we no, have, yeah, we're doing the we're doing the giveaway on Monday. Yeah, we're gonna see you guys on Monday when we pick the winner of this beast. So have a um, great weekend. Until next time. Yeah, everybody have a good weekend. Hustle hard and get that money, baby. That's right. Peace.